Welcome to the guide how to beat the high road on very hard. So first of all, before you fight the high road, it's a good idea to go to the fallen angel first, especially so that you can get this weapon, Mamer Needle Pistol, which is a silent weapon. I have upgraded it, so I currently have upgraded all silent weapons. So all of them do a damage of 5. That means we can kill enemies with a damage of 15 silently. Now, the problem is that most of our enemies here have an HP of 60. Now, we, we have different abilities that you can use to ensure we can do it. For example, if we use the Skull Splitter, we get a critical chance on decks and we can actually kill enemies with an HP of 17. Or if we use Hog Rush, we then proceed to have two turns to kill an enemy. So there are ways to avoid it. However, in order for it, it to work, if you're playing on a very hard uh, you need a certain amount of uh, enemy kills to kind of restore your ability. And I have used Hog Rush in Fallen Angel. So I actually need to kill two more enemies with uh, two more enemies to be able to use the Hog Rush again. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do right now. We're gonna kill the Butcher. And then we're probably gonna sneak into the Cave of Fear and kill just one enemy. There's almost in every area, there's like one, someone like this butcher is just kind of lonely walking around. It's like not the proper enemies that you have to kill. So that's what you want to do just to get the extra hog rush ability which you're going to need. If you haven't used hog rush in Fallen Angel, you can easily do that. Um, you can easily just ignore fighting the other guys, but I do have to do this first. So you're going to have to make sure that uh, Borman is wearing the silent weapon, the Mimir Needle Pistol, and then we can use a silent shot onto the butcher. Nice. And we did a critical hit, which is great. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but it's still nice. Okay, and we have killed him. Killed him. Yeah, you're earning your scrap, kid. Can I get Borman? Yeah, nice. Okay, so now that we killed him, so like I said, I need to actually kill somebody else in order for this, uh, for Berman to have the Hog Rush ability. So that's why I'm just gonna pop into the Cave of Fear and kill just like one Lonely Butcher or something. If you haven't used the Hog Rush ability, you can just go straight up. So let me just do that. I think I'm just gonna fast forward through that's not really that interesting, I think, for you guys, so... I'll just do that, and uh, then I'm gonna come right back, fast forward, okay? Okay, so now I'm back at the high road. Uh, just be careful when you're coming back from the Cave of Fear that you don't um, end up in the range of the hunter. So it might be a good idea to go to the Hammond's cabin first and then travel to the high road from there. Okay? I'm just gonna run back again, I'll just fast forward for you. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to kill the Shaman. Let me just move some of closer. And we're going to want to kill him with the, the Hog Rush ability. This is pretty important. Because if you Hog Rush that Hunter over there, which is our next uh, fighter, we're going to um, alert the med button. We don't want that to happen. So let's just wait till the Shaman. Yeah, I think we'll just do it here. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is move Dax a little bit closer to 100% shot. Yeah, yeah. And we're just going to shoot. Nice. Then we're going to use um, Selma to move here and shoot as well. And then we're gonna use Borman to hog rush the shaman. Let's do that. Nice. Now. Now we want to use, for example, Borman to just shoot him off. Let's do that. That was amazing. Nice. Okay. Next thing is we're gonna hide behind this uh, truck. Ooh. And we're going to kill this hunter. Now for that, we're gonna need uh, the skull splitter. 
which is a Texas of the writing. Go there. And then we're going to use Selma. Okay, so we're going to ambush. Uh, actually, no, that was too soon. Because the other hunter is too close. we got to wait, wait, wait now. Okay, so first thing is we're going to move Borman to 100% shot, which is here, for example. And we're going to shoot. Oh, and we did a critical hit. Now, he only has 9 at this point, so we don't actually need the Skull Splitter. We could have done it with the Skull Splitter, but if we don't need to, I'm not going to do it. So let's just step here, do a regular shot with ducks. Oh, this is so good. But uh, you, you can use the Skull Splitter, don't be afraid to use it. But if you don't need it, there's no point. And then we're going to use Selma to hide here and shoot him. Nice. Serves you right. Now that was a good kill. Now, next up we have the hunter and the medbot. Now, the problem with the medbot is that while it does have 16 HP, it has two armor. So that means that every one of our guys only does damage of three instead of five. So within one turn we can do a damage of nine tops, and then the medbot can actually move. So let me just make sure that my guys are hidden. Uh, yeah. So we can do damage of three per like for per person per turn, so it'll be nine damage per one turn. Then the medbot have a turn would uh, notify the hunter. We could use um, the skull splitter now that we haven't needed it for this hunter, but that would just mean that uh, ducks instead of damage of three would do five, so that would still be five plus eight, which is only thirteen and not sixteen. So it still wouldn't be enough to actually kill the medbot. So. We definitely need to focus on the hunter first and do the medbot after. Okay, because what we can do with the medbot is we can use Selma's uh, tree hugger option to stop him from moving and uh, we can then just keep shooting at him which is really nice. You don't even need to do that because if he's alone he's just going to be running around to healing people, he's not attacking you so you can just kind of run around after him. But what is pretty important is uh, that he doesn't notify the hunter. So let me kind of prep my guys and get them as close to the hunter as I can. What we're going to do is we're going to use the tree hugger on the medbot and stop him from moving. So he's not going to be able to do anything this turn. Then we're going to shoot the hunter with Boromin with the gaper with an attack of 6. And then ducks with the flying, so they do five extra damage, and then finally with Selma. But the first thing to do is we gotta make sure that uh, Bormin's actually gonna be able to do that. So let's uh, move him a little bit uh, closer and shoot with the Gaper. And just shoot. Oh, with Gaper, I have a 50% shot. Oh, and I cannot move anymore. Okay, well, let's try. Yes. Perfect. Now he only has a damage of 10. Now next thing we want to do... We could use the mod wings here, but to be completely honest, I don't really want to waste my abilities. So I'm just going to take the risk and not use it, but if you want to be certain, use the mod wings. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Now, because the medbot's already, like, we did a, a loud shot, so the medbot already knows about it. Now we're gonna use the tree hugger. Wait, can I shoot from my point of view? Well, 50% shot, okay. We're gonna make sure that the medbot cannot move. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna shoot the hunter. Yes. Now, uh, Selma. If I move her here, I can get a hundred percent shot. So let's do that. Let's move her up there. She can shoot him. Nice. 
And there's a slight problem that he's gonna be able to... I don't know who he's gonna like run to... to heal. However, we could use run and gun potentially. But again, I don't actually know where to go. So let's just sprint maybe there. Uh, but then can we kill him next turn? It's gonna move somewhere. Yeah, I think it's, it's gonna be fine. Let's just move over there. And uh, is there, if we use the mod wings now... Um, no ammo. Okay, so we're gonna have to reload and move a little closer. Actually, so we'll let him move somewhere right now. Yes, and he's moving here, which is perfect. Because he's trying to heal this, um, I don't know, hunter, whoever that is. So let's use Dex to shoot him. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna get his uh, Selma reload, and hopefully she can shoot him as well. Oh, she has no line of fire. Um... From there she has 100% but will un end my turn. I'll still go place her there, because why not. Let's reload with Borman and shoot him. He could potentially, like, um, I don't know, use Hog Rush or something, but I don't want to waste my abilities, so... Even if he wakes up the Shaman, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, we can shoot him with Borman again. Love how it knocks him back. And then uh, Selma should be able to finish it up. Okay, so this is how you do it without losing any HP. Now, of course, we are using a lot of different abilities. Sometimes we get lucky with the critical shot. Uh, and sometimes, like with the medbot, we didn't actually want to use the abilities, even though we could. We could have used the hog rush on him and stuff. But it, because it takes the three kills to kind of re, re be able to use the ability again, you don't want to waste them too much. We didn't potentially need to use the tree hugger either. I, I did want to use it because I really like the fact that it stops the robot from doing anything. But there is a way to do that without it. We would just let the robot move a bit quicker, which would actually, since because he was moving towards the shaman here, it was actually good for us because he would be moving just closer. So it would be easier to... So that one turn where we could only use Selma to shoot and we had to move Borman and Dax, Instead of in that turn, we would be able to use Borman and Dex to shoot the medbot because he would be moving closer to Selma probably as well. So uh, that would have been actually even better for us if if he didn't if we didn't use the tree hugger. But you never know who he's going to revive, so got to make sure that um, you're ready for any option. So just to recap, we have used the hog rush on the shaman. Then we have used, we, well we haven't used the Skull Spritter, but we could have, and as, I haven't used the Skull Spritter again fighting anybody else, so that's why it's um, it's important that we kept it. And then finally, when we only had the fun Hunter and the Medbot, we didn't need to worry so much about being silent, because the we stopped the Medbot with, with the Tree Hugger, but even if we didn't, he would be just moving and not attacking, so we didn't have to worry that much. So then we could have used the Gaper, which does more damage, and actually killed the Hunter anyway. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, write it down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.